Dear friends from Global Prayer Call, this is my first Friday clip for July 2021. And I'm coming to you with an encouragement that I have received from the Lord just recently, coming out of Psalm 86. It's a Psalm of David. And I would like to read three passages and make some comments. The first passage are the beginning verses, one, two, four. Hear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Guard my life, for I am devoted to you. You are my God. Save your servant who trusts in you. Have mercy on me, O God, for I call to you all day long. Bring joy to your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. And we see David here, and David praying for the strengthening of his soul by the presence of the Lord, by the joy of the Lord, by the grace of the Lord. So he is under distress and he is he is seeking encouragement. He is seeking uplifting. He is seeking the presence of God and turning to God, calling to God, expecting his response and turning towards him. So this is the introduction towards this Psalm 86. David crying out to his God and his Lord. In the middle of this psalm, we find an amazing turn. And we read verses 8 to 10. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord. No need deeds can compare with you. All the nations you have made will come and worship before you, O Lord. They will bring glory to your name. For you are great and do marvelous deeds. You alone are God. Well, this is a powerful revelation and a powerful response by the Holy Spirit to David. David seeks the encouragement of the Lord, the uplifting of the Lord, the joy of the Lord. And what does the Lord do? He opens David's eyes for his love and faithfulness towards the nations. His love towards the nations. God made the nations and the nations shall glorify God. What an amazing answer to the cry of David for encouragement. Well, this is really amazing. You would expect that the Lord answers by his love towards Israel, his people, and the calling of Israel, and the way Israel is called to be a blessing to the nations and give honor to the Lord, the God of Israel. But the Lord answers to David that he shall be encouraged in him by his mercies towards the nations. Well, this really touched me deeply since um, we in Germany were in the process of seeking God a day of repentance in September for the way we have mistreated Israel and the Jewish people, especially in the last few weeks and months. Um, so this is very current to me to seek the Lord on behalf of my own nation. But on that background, Psalm 86 really took me to the Lord and um, built my faith and my uh, prayer life uh, towards trusting him that the Lord will and loves to give mercy to those who humble himself or herself before him, both individually and both on a higher level, on a national level especially. So here we are, encouraged by the word of the Lord. Then number three closes the psalm on a special note that uh, goes in the same line. And that's uh, starting with verse 14. The arrogant are attacking me, O God, or a band of ruthless men seek my life, men without regard for you. But you, O Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. Turn to me and have mercy on me. So this psalm comes to a close. And the close is, again, the focus on the mercies of God. Slow to anger, quickly to give mercy, to give forgiveness, to show compassion on those who humble themselves before the Lord. 
because of themselves and on behalf of their nation. If we humble ourselves before the Lord, he is quickly to answer. He is quickly to show compassion. He is quickly to give mercy and slow to anger. And this encouragement, dear friends, I just wanted to pass on. It became so important to me as I pray for my own nation. Shall it be an encouragement to you as you bless Israel and pray for your nation? Well, have a blessed month of July. The Lord be with you. Looking forward to seeing you again soon by his grace. Amen. <music>